Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about the deadliest anti-ship missiles in the world. The anti-ship missile has come a long way since the crude guided weapons first witnessed during the Second World War. After decades of rapid innovation, the end of the Cold War and the subsequent global war on terror all but halted anti-ship missile development in the West. A focus on land operations in the Middle East and Central Asia sent Western navies struggling for relevance as rising tensions with China and Russia make clear ship-to-ship -ship naval warfare is back, and with it the need to reach out and sink enemy ships. This led to some renewed emphasis on the development and procurement of bigger anti-ship missiles. Most of the new generation of anti-ship missiles are stealthy, highly supersonic, and autonomous and many of them can carry large warheads sufficient to inflict a maneuver kill on even the largest targets and able to saw smaller vessels in half. Today we're presenting you guys the five deadliest anti-ship missiles in the world, both deployed and in development. Let's check it out. Number 1. BrahMos Missile BrahMos is a supersonic cruise missile being developed by BrahMos Aerospace a joint venture between Defense Research and Development Organization of India and MPO Mashinostroyenia of Russia. It is one of the few anti-ship missiles built during this time, and it is currently in service with the Indian Armed Forces. The missile has two stages. The first, consisting of a solid-fuel rocket, accelerates BrahMos to supersonic speeds. The second stage, a liquid-fueled ramjet, accelerates it to Mach 2.8. The missile reportedly flies as low as 10 meters above wave tops, making it what's known as a sea skimmer. It has a range of about 290 kilometers. The missile is extremely versatile, capable of being carried by surface ships, land-based anti-ship missile batteries, and aircraft such as the Indian Air Force's Su-30 Mk-1. The air-launched version has a longer range of 500 kilometers. A submarine-based version is under consideration, but has not been developed due to lack of interest. BrahMos packs a considerable punch. Land and ship-based versions are armed with a 200-kilogram warhead, while the aircraft version has a 300-kilogram warhead. Even without a warhead, at Mach 2.8, BrahMos would impart tremendous kinetic energy on its target. It also uses its high-speed, stealthy design and sea-skimming capability to evade enemy air defenses. The missile speed of Mach 2.8 translates to 952 meters per second. Assuming the defender's radar is mounted at a height of 20 meters, BrahMos will be detected at a range of 27 kilometers. This leaves the defender with just 28 seconds to track, illuminate, and shoot down BrahMos before it impacts the ship. Number 2. Long-Range Anti-Ship Missile LRASM LRASM is designed to detect and destroy specific targets within groups of ships. By employing advanced technologies that reduce dependence on intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance platforms, network links, and GPS navigation in electronic warfare environments, the missile will play a significant role in ensuring military access to operate in open ocean and blue water environments owing to its enhanced ability to discriminate and conduct tactical engagements from extended ranges. The advanced LRASM sensor technology builds on BAE Systems Expertise in Electronic Warfare, or EW, signal processing, targeting technologies, and demonstrates the company's ability to apply its world-class EW technology to small platforms. It is armed with a 1,000-pound penetrating blast fragmentation warhead, LRASM is low observable and likely has a range comparable with the joint air-to-surface standoff missile extended range of around 500 nautical miles. LRASM takes a different tact from missiles such as BrahMos. Instead of achieving high Mach numbers to make the missile more survivable against air defense threats, the subsonic LRASM uses stealth and autonomous decision-making to evade shipboard defenses. LRASM will identify high-value targets on its own and home in on them. Number 3. 
Club 3M-54E1 Anti-Ship Missile An anti-ship missile used by the Russian Navy, Club is actually a family of weapons sharing the same airframe. It is a versatile weapon system with variants capable of anti-ship or 3M-54E1, land attack, and anti-submarine missions. Club has been exported to Algeria, China, and India. There are four versions. Club S is designed to be launched from a 533mm torpedo tube, a standard diameter for submarines worldwide. Club N is designed to be launched from surface ships. Club M is launched from land, and Club K is fired from camouflage shipping containers. Technically a cruise missile, 3M54E1 typically cruises at Mach 0.8 at an altitude of 10 to 15 meters. Some versions accelerate to Mach 2.9 supersonic flight during the terminal stage to shorten the reaction time of enemy anti-missile defenses, and the maximum range of the missile is 186 miles. Number 4. The XASM-3 Missile It is a ramjet-powered anti-ship missile currently under joint development by the Government of Japan's Technical Research and Development Institute and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Although relatively little is known about the missile at this point, if put into production it will represent a considerable leap over the Japan Self-Defense Force's existing capabilities. XASM-3 will be a hypersonic missile, a solid-fueled rocket with integrated ramjet operating at speeds of up to Mach 5. The missile is designed to be stealthy. Like BrahMos, XASM-3 will use speed to limit the enemy's reaction and engagement time. Using the same engagement parameters as BrahMos, XASM-3 will allow defenders only a 15-second reaction time. And the XASM-3 also has both active and passive integrated seekers. Its weight is 1,900 pounds. It is expected to have a range of 120 plus miles. And the deadliest anti-ship missile is Naval Strike Missile, or NSM. It is a new anti-ship missile designed by Norway's Kongsberg. The Naval Strike Missile is touted by the company as the world's first fifth-generation anti-ship missile. NSM utilizes a rocket booster for initial launch, after which it transits to a turbofan engine. The missile is a sea skimmer, appearing to travel less than 10 meters above the wave tops in videos. Kongsberg touts the missile as fully passive, meaning it does not use active sensors to track targets. NSM does not emit infrared or radar waves that could be detected by enemy ships. Weighing in at 410 kilograms, NSM is smaller than other missiles on this list. The missile has a range of 185 kilometers and carries a 125 kilogram warhead. A version of the Naval Strike Missile, the Joint Strike Missile is currently under development. The JSM will be capable of both air-to-ground and anti-ship missions and will fit the internal weapons bay of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. It will also fit a standard 533mm submarine torpedo tube. JSM is scheduled to become operational in 2023. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave your comment below if you have a great topic to be discussed in the next video.